Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this video is about streets and trips and planning a route. This would be the first things you do to plan a route. You set a begin point and an end point, and then you click on the Get Directions. Notice the route line, and we'll see how it makes the night stops based on your route options. When you have a route, make sure to save your file so you don't lose it. I'm using a completely fresh file of streets and trips. It's, it's totally blank. There's nothing in it. So we are starting from scratch. And where we are going next, we are in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we're going to Bowling Green, Kentucky. So let's set those beginning and end points. We're going to use the route planner to do this, and there's two ways of get there. Either this button of the car, that, and it says route planner, or in the legend and overview, you can change that to route planner. Either way, you get to the same place. So our beginning is the address where we're starting from. I type in the address and press enter, and it had, didn't have any questions about that address, so it just added it as the beginning of my route. The end is this 2355 Nashville Road add to route. Now this one it seems to have a question and from having done this before in a previous video I have decided that I need to look for the Carol Nicely Conference Center rather than just the address in order to find the right place. There we go. That's that's it. I click OK, and that is now my route end. Green means beginning of route. Red means end of route. All you do now is click on Get Directions, and it draws the route line on the map. Plus, it gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions up in this directions area. At the top, you have a summary, 948 miles, and there is some construction information if we want to update it. I'm not going to do that now. That will be in another video. At the very bottom there's a summary that says this is going to take you one day, five hours, and 52 minutes. I don't think so. <laughs> and it says it's just going to cost $137 in gas. I don't think so. We're driving an RV. We get eight miles to the gallon and we don't like to drive more than three or four hours a day. So let's tell Streets and Trips that. It's in the route Route options, average driving day, start at 9, nah, <laughs> we get going at the crack of noon, and we like to end before 5 o'clock, so 4 hours. And driving speeds, well, we're pretty average, maybe a little slower on highways. Fuel, we get seven miles to the gallon in city and eight miles to the gallon in highway. I know that sounds bad, but what I tell people is imagine driving your house down the road. And cost, well, gas is now about $3 a gallon. So when I click OK, it says the route has changed. Click this line to get directions. OK, now the route hasn't actually changed, but our summary, I'm sure, has. Now it's saying the same driving distance is going to take us three days, two hours, and nine minutes, and cost us $355. It's showing three night stops here. That's what the little moon is about. And in the next video, I'll show you how we find the places where we want to spend those nights. But that's the basics of planning your first route. So to begin and end, get directions, and save your file. Don't forget to save your There's lots more to learn with tutorial videos at geeksontour.com.